Hello and long time no chat. I feel like it's been forever since I've sat down. Like literally it feels like it's been almost a year. I have been busy with my photography work and to be quite transparent, it has been difficult to kind of sit down and film videos. I feel like most of my energy has been put into my photography, but I do genuinely think that the place on uh, YouTube and also like even on Twitter and TikTok and Instagram all of it is going more video based so I really kind of want to dig my toes in if you will and get back into um, filming more regularly so I figured I would start with some more sit down videos also I used to do a lot of gray hair videos and that's kind of where I wanted to start today um, I have naturally gray hair and just in case you are new to the channel at all um, I am 38 turning 39 this year and I started going gray when I was about 16 um, and I am quite gray as you can tell um, it's grown quite a bit. I had a shaved head last year and this is the growth. I've been cutting it on and off just like giving trims and things like that. But my um, overall intention is to have more of a mullet. I definitely want the back to grow pretty long and then I'm keeping the sides kind of trimmed if you can see um and then i am due for bang trim so they're quite long right now but this is what the bangs look like and i've been loving having it i really do genuinely miss having hair um there are some times when i like really wish it was long like super quickly um which i do i did find extensions in my hair color which we'll talk about a little bit later but part of me does have moments where i'm just like i want to shave my head again i feel like i'm so on and off and if you've been here for any amount of time you know i've had so many different haircuts um over the years and i just like playing around a lot so um yeah this is Sort of the longest it's been and the longest i've had it in any one length um other than you know the back is definitely growing it's now kind of actually hitting my shoulders whereas before it was like pretty awkward it's still kind of awkward because it doesn't flip out super well and when i sleep on it it looks like a mess the next day um even when i sleep on like silk pillowcases i've definitely tried that and I don't know, maybe I'm just a rough sleeper, but I tend to toss and turn a lot and the back is still kind of short, so it does tend to get a pretty cowlicky. But um, yeah, this is kind of where it is right now. I am very excited about it. And please don't tell me to shave my head and that you liked me better when I was shaved and all of that. Um, I like experimenting. So this is where I am currently and I'm very excited about it. I apologize if I keep staring at myself. It's been a really long time since I've sat in front of this particular camera. Literally had to take it out of storage. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to sit down and talk about my hair and where I'm going with it right now. Um, I do want to talk about some of the products I've been using and then also the extensions that I got. Um, I was in LA visiting my best friend a couple of months ago and she has pretty thin hair and has extensions that have really helped give her a little bit more fullness and she was talking about them and then she did mention that they were going to be coming out with gray which I've been hunting for gray extensions for years like probably close to 20 years because I've always wanted be, to be able to kind of be flexible with my color and my length and just kind of play that's why part of the reason I shave my head so often is because I'm constantly getting bored with what's currently on my head so the opportunity to be able to like add length whenever I felt like it is such an amazing opportunity for me and I am excited that a brand has seen the need um, that there are women out there or whoever wants gray hair, regardless of their gender, wants hair that they can play with and still be gray and still be foxy and still want to play and experiment with their style and aesthetic. Um, and that having gray hair doesn't mean you're giving up, which I think is pretty exciting because I definitely feel like for quite a few long time of my life i feel like that's kind of if you had gray hair that's what people thought of you so the opportunity to have gray hair and be able to actually play with my look a little bit more is really exciting to me um so yeah let's get into the extensions first and then i'll go over some products i'm kind of just jumping in um it's been a really long time so i appreciate you guys being here and thank you for giving me some grace um if i stumble with my words at all i'm trying not to like delete anything and i'm just gonna post as is um, because I have a tendency to overthink. So, long-winded intro, but yeah, I, uh, the 
first when I found out about them and they launched, I bought two of their extension packs. This is the light gray. I'm not gonna take all of them out and I'm not gonna put them in right now um, just because they don't currently fit what I have going on. I do need to tone these still, as you can tell. Um, they're a little warmer than my current um, hair color. Uh, I do feel like they tend to skew a little bit warmer in terms of the way, um, maybe they just assume that most people that have gray hair have a tendency to have like more of like a warmth to their gray because maybe they're not caring for their gray properly, which tends to happen a lot, but it is a little bit on the warmer side. Um, but I love them. I think they're so exciting. I've, I, I've shot with these particular ones previously. Um, I'll probably use it as like the cover photo for this, but it's really exciting. I got the 16 inch one. This is just a pack of bunch of them. I think there's like nine in here in different lengths. This is one of the longest um, extension. They are clip-ins. They don't have sew-ins, I believe, in the gray ones. Um, this is by Luxie Hair, and it comes in a really cute like box too that I keep everything in. But so this is the light gray, which I think is like a pretty perfect match other than the warmth situation that I need to fix. Um, I just really have to, um, I talked to actually a hairdresser friend of mine and he mentioned that he thinks I need to remove the sealant on these cause these do have somewhat of like a seal to keep the hair sort of soft um, and protected from heat, but it also, uh, makes it a little harder to tone. So that's kind of what I have to do for those. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet just because I kind of bought them purposely for more like photography based stuff. And then also once my hair gets a little longer, because putting them in right now, you, you can see quite a bit in the back in terms of where they're laying. Um, but this is the first set I bought and I do think these in particular tend to stand out a little bit and they're not a great match. I feel like because I have, if you can see, the front of my hair is quite white gray and then the back is still pretty dark. So I got another pack, <laughs> went a little mad on these, um, and these were the, uh, that is actually the halo. Hold on one second. These are the dark gray, which I feel like these are like almost a, an immediate, like they're such a good match. Like, I don't even know if I can really show you, but it's like almost a perfect match for my back. Um, and they do have a little bit of gray, as you can see. They're just amazing. They're so perfect. Um, I Again, they come in different like widths. I said lengths earlier about widths. So this is one width, um, the weft, I believe is what it's called, and then they have the clips on the back. And they're really easy to use. I just feel like, again, I need a little bit more length, but because I have the dark gray, it does make it a little easier to blend now because my biggest issue back here is that I have the light gray on the top and then the dark gray on the back. And so when I put the light gray in by itself, it felt like such a heavy chop in the back if that makes sense but now that i have these i kind of use them and like place them throughout and it helps blend it a little bit better um again i'm not great at putting them in myself i'm still experimenting with that um but i love them this is uh unstyled by the way and it's like super soft and like ugh, i just feel like they're so the hair quality is so good let me see if i can focus on it this camera is on its last leg so nope doesn't want to there we go just so soft and silky um i do think it has a bit of a sealant on it which is part of the reason it looks that shiny but yeah this one's beautiful i'm obsessed with these and then um i actually purchased those first two and then i talked to them on instagram and they actually sent me a halo which is super exciting and if you're not familiar with a halo it's like i actually can probably put this one on but it looks like this and it has a little string and then you literally like take your hair and like create i'm not doing this very well clearly but <laughs> you can like put it under your hair and then blend it so you take the top parts and then just kind of like work it throughout and like clearly i didn't do that well and i'm not going to show you the back because it looks horrendous but um you kind of have to take the shorter hair and like push it out and like make sure 
like if I was gonna do this I would use a comb you know what I mean and like separate it and like then tuck it underneath but like just so you can see like what it looks like and they're a lot easier and a lot easier to blend the way I did it when I was first cutting these I actually did have all of these cut by my barber we basically um, when we were playing around with it we did the halo and then we came in and put a little bit of the darker smaller ones in just to help blend it a touch and I think it was such a nice way to do that this is so janky so please don't don't think this is the way it actually looks but I think it's such an easy way to add length very quickly which I think is awesome um and a lot of my clients like a lot of models use extensions they're so great to just add a lot of width um, and these have a lot, I mean not width, but just in terms of thickness and like I have a lot of thickness, I just want length. Um, but these are, I, they're so soft and I'm so excited about, again, they're a little, um, these are actually definitely a little too warm for me. I feel like I did manage to tone the ones, other ones a touch. Um, but I do need to like come in here if you can really tell how much of a difference that is. Um, I just have very white like I take good care of my gray so it's pretty white and like pretty well toned um and yeah I guess I'll talk about that as well just because I do feel like I used to do a lot of um or get a lot of questions about products that I was using so I'll jump into that I'm trying like to not to edit this so um I was recommended this brand in particular for gray hair that is the Eve Fabuloso um platinum blonde they have a this is the color boosting treatment and I've been using that I actually used that today and I feel like it definitely made my grays pop and then I have the toning shampoo as well. This was uh, a brand that my barber specifically recommended for me. He's a barber slash hairstylist, but I've been going to him for like six years now. He's seen my hair in multiple different transition periods and I feel like we've really, we're on our way to something great, so. Um, and then the other products that I have been using and I definitely recommend for anyone with hair that is easily damaged, Um, is a basically a heat protectant which I highly recommend a heat protectant highly recommend a heat protectant for anyone that um, uses a lot of heat on their hair I have been having to use more heat on my hair recently I tend to air dry it a lot when I'm able but like today I blow dried it um, and yeah this just helps keep it a little bit like less damaging happening to your hair if that makes any sense and then um another uh one i've been using for a long time i actually really like their silverado shampoo and conditioner but i ran out of it but this is the orbe super shine moisturizing cream i use this today alongside the um Devonis. uh this is an oil non-oil is what it's called it doesn't have a name name but um i love this bottle if you find this bottle i swear i feel like i've like been going through this very slowly my best friend gave this to me when i was in la but i have had it previously i just ran out of it um and i'm obsessed with this one it really helps just hydrate i'm a big fan of oils in general for skin and hair and i love that one um speaking of davenies is another one that she gave me and it is just the medium hold um pliable paste for thick and thick and visible effects and i feel like this is a good texturizing one but they do have like other ones for different um hair textures my hair is very thick and very coarse and the gray has a tendency to give it that texture as well so this kind of helps just kind of create a little bit of texturizing in here otherwise i feel like it looks a little too um it, the hair tends to like just fly away a lot um and not in a great way it gets very puffy and like a little bit um just like frizzy so this is sort of like my preferred i always use a little bit of an oil and yeah that is it we blew through that hopefully <laughs> um I appreciate you guys coming back and taking a peek at this video. I'm sorry if it was a little all over the place. I'm really not very used to sitting in front of the camera anymore. Um, I'm trying to get used to it. And yeah, um, if you have any other questions about gray hair, if um, you have questions about the extensions, let me know. I do have a discount code. I'm gonna include it below. Um, I can't think of it off the top of my head, so I'll just put it down below. But yeah, 
Hope you are having a great day. And if you wanna see more fashion content from me, let me know. I think I'm gonna try to film something um, just kind of like maybe film my like sort of go-to outfits, maybe a week of outfits. I used to do those a lot and I really enjoyed doing them. Um, so yeah, I hope you were having a good day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.